After much delay, we are finally here in update 17. The game has restarted, so we are officially within the update. So we should now read it through the dev blog and see what big games decided to do. So starting off strong, it doesn't even say the good versus evil update. It just starts off right with the good versus evil event. So it says confront your destiny, hatch the new event huges, and compete against each other. Okay, very interesting. Hold on, because big games might be cooking with a brand new event world because the last Last time they did this it actually did go pretty well and it was a decent update so let's keep going through it all right so it says we need to hatch the new egg to discover what our side is i guess the good versus evil theme that's interesting so i'm not sure what it means by other team i guess we're going to be competing against everybody in the game and not just like clans and stuff like that so it seems like we have a free egg here that's going to decide if we're good or evil so this should be very interesting to see and then we also have some sort of event board, so we're going to have to wait till we get in game to see what this actually says here. Pass through heavenly gates and evil depths. Complete quest to unlock all zones. Okay, nothing too crazy so far. The first egg you hatch will forever determine your fate. After your fate is chosen, hatch through all the new eggs. Each team has their own eggs and pets to hatch. The final egg has the chance to hatch huge pets multiple huge pets not not just one depending on your team hatch a huge avenging griffin or a huge evil imp okay this is actually pretty interesting i like this so far from the pictures it looks pretty cool as well hatch 15 pets from new areas the pets are unique for each team the divinus and the dark lord are best for both of the sides so i can see why big games didn't want to break and just wanted to uh, push this update as soon as possible because it seems like it's a pretty cool idea honestly all right so the new huge pets we have are obviously that avenging griffin as well as the evil imp now we also have a huge good versus evil cat and it seems like that's the one that's in the back that one actually looks really cool this is a sick huge and you can get all of these from the good versus evil gifts so i'm not sure where you get these gifts from quite yet but i'm sure we'll find out in a second and then i guess you also can get all of these huges from these gifts as well as the last egg in your respective worlds all right so the contest so it's a competition Hatch the last egg in the final zone to help your side win. View the leaderboard in the world to determine your team's place. Every hour, the winning team gets three good versus evil bags, and the losing team only gets one good versus evil bag. Honestly, this is a really cool idea from Big Games. This sounds like it's going to be a very cool update. So it seems like in general, there's just going to be this good versus evil clash between all players in the game. And whichever team you're on is just randomly determined. So honestly, if you play on multiple accounts, you could have accounts grinding for both sides so so this is definitely going to be interesting to see and it also looks like the amount of points you get for your team is determined by how lucky you get by opening these certain pets now because this is an event world i assume off the bat that game passes don't matter so everybody should have an equal chance at getting this huge during this event but we haven't quite gone in game yet so we'll have to see what that is actually like and not only that, it looks like there is actually a leaderboard for whoever gets the most points for their respective teams. So this is actually really cool. Shout out to Big Games for coming up with a good idea like this. This is exactly what I was talking about in that last video where I just said they didn't seem to have that many good ideas lately. But this one seems pretty interesting. That's actually pretty big. The top thousand players from each side are going to get a regular huge. So they're giving out at least 2,500 total huges due to this event. And I think I'm actually reading this wrong because I think the top thousand from both leaderboards. So this one's just for hatching regular pets and this one's for hatching huge pets. So I think you can actually win two huges if you are in the top thousand for both of these categories. And obviously there's the evil side and then there's the good side. So I guess they're giving away a total of 5,000 huge pets to both sides of this battle. This is going to be very interesting to see. Now the global event doesn't look like anything too special, but then we have this clan battle. So the clan battle is going to be also to hatch good versus evil huge pets. So it's only going to be the huge pets that matter, it looks like. We're going to have to see in-game whether or not having the Huge Hunter Game Pass actually affects this. 
Honestly, I would assume it doesn't because usually in those limited time worlds, your game passes don't actually affect anything. Hopefully it's like that so that people with the huge hunter game pass actually don't have an advantage here. And moving on, we have these good versus evil items. So it seems like these are going to be what we use to actually craft the good versus evil gifts. So that's really cool as well. I wonder if these things will be tradable. I assume not because you have to pick a side. So I don't see how the other side would be able to buy the item from the other team but we're gonna have to wait till we get in game to see this as well so this is the machine that we use to combine these two items and we only need 10 points to craft each of these good versus evil gifts and then of course we got the brand new exclusive egg that we talked about multiple times on this channel the titanic looks pretty sick i didn't even notice the car that was below it in the leaked pictures that we had before this actually looks pretty cool and then we have the two new huges and then the three new new exclusives so these actually look pretty sick i think this will be a decently popular exclusive egg and then of course we have the pay to win good versus evil pack of course with the chances to get three different huges as well as the titanic rich cat and then the new good versus evil booth and hoverboard now finally the changes which honestly are usually a pretty big deal in these updates they actually added back the seashell machine like all right i understand it was a big mistake to actually remove the seashell machine but i think it's an even bigger mistake to just add it back in the next update that is just weird from big games honestly if i was somebody that were investing in these summer gifts in game i would actually be very mad at this Honestly, big games, you need to double down on changes you make like this. You can't just keep adding and removing things that change the economy in game. This is actually insane that they just added the seashell back to the game. And on top of that, they also changed the odds of getting seashells and prison keys to actually make them drop more. So that's going to be interesting to see. I definitely wonder if they changed the odds to actually get that huge prison cat from the cells as well. And then they also made the hacker keys drop less as well as improved some lag issues that they had with the game. So let's actually hop into the game and see this update for ourselves. All right, so here we are in game and we actually do have the portal to the new world here in world three. So this is really convenient. Let's get in and see. All right, you guys. So here is, I guess, where we're going to decide whether or not we're going to be good or evil for this whole update. So this is going to be very interesting to see. Let's open this up. Let's just check over here really quick. Make sure there's nothing we actually need. Let's open this egg and actually decide. I don't know if this is going to be some sort of big thing when I actually open this. So let's just open it and see. All right. So we got the evil side. That's really cool though. Let's see what this actually looks like in game. Okay. That's actually really cool. They like split it off into sides. So I was definitely wondering how they were going to do this different areas thing. But it seems like if you are on the good side, you're going to be opening this angel egg. But if you're over on the bad side, we're going to be opening this egg to get these pets. So this is really cool. Big Games has actually been cooking with this update. This is honestly a very good idea. Now off the bat, we can only use 15 of our pets in this new area. I'm not really sure why they did that necessarily. That's definitely going to be annoying if this is something we are supposed to be AFKing for the next two weeks especially. Now let's place some hasty flags and stuff in here as well. I also don't have any enchants going, so we're going to have to pick an enchant build, which I actually don't have any good ones right now because I haven't grinded an actual area in so long. All right, so I cooked up a little update build. Let's get right into hatching this egg so we can keep moving on. We only need 200 egg hatches, which should be pretty easy when you are opening 102 eggs at a time. We get to instantly move on from that. Let's bring our pets over here. We're probably gonna wanna actually keep opening this egg so we can get some pets in order to upgrade them for these missions for these areas. Now, one thing they did do right with this new world is actually putting the gold pets and rainbow pets machine in the world so you don't actually have to teleport back and forth. So big W for big games right there. I'm so glad they made it like this. That makes it so much easier so we don't have to waste our time going back and forth constantly. So let's put down our hasty flags and our sprinklers 
Just get these breakables broken. We can't use TNT in this world, but we can use flags as well as the sprinklers. And it does seem like potions and fruits are working as well. All right, so moving on to area three, we are absolutely flying through these areas. Next up, we need to make three rainbow pets. So let's open a few more eggs just so we can make sure we have enough things to upgrade. All right, so I skipped over a little bit because I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to show you guys all the new stuff that's in the update and get this out to you guys as soon as possible. So for this next one, we just have to make some more golden pets. So we're going to do that very quickly. And I just want to unlock this last thing so we can see what this actually looks like. Like, don't get me wrong. I do like these little missions that we got to do to get to the next areas. But honestly, just having them gold and then rainbow, gold and then rainbow aren't the most fun way to actually get through these levels. So I do hope they add some more cooler, like more difficult things to actually get through these new areas instead of just having to run back and forth going to the gold and rainbow machine. I guess overall in the grand scheme of things, that is not the biggest issue. All right, so we broke our 500 breakables. Let's go to the final area and actually see this. All right, so right now the good side is actually winning. So we need to step up our game and actually begin hatching so we can help our side actually win. Now, obviously on this account that I'm playing on right now, I am on the evil side, but I have two more accounts that I pretty much actively play on. So for those two accounts, I could actually be on the good side. So I'm not too sure who I actually want to win quite yet, but for now, I am team evil and we are actually losing by like a hundred thousand points. So if I actually go ahead and open up just like two of these dark lords here, we will actually be in the lead and we actually have 17 minutes until the winning team gets three of those bags. So let's actually begin opening and see what we can get off the bat. If we can get anything good at all. Now, starting off, I would assume that using charged eggs when you auto hatch will benefit you in this battle. And that's because these charged eggs actually increase the luck, which actually does increase your chances at getting these higher level regular stat pets. Now, charged eggs don't help you to get the huge, but still being able to get that last stat pet is going to get you a hundred thousand points at a time. So this is definitely going to be very interesting to see. And I'm also going to go out on a limb here and say that having the huge hunter game pass is not going to help you to get this huge because it actually isn't the active huge within this egg. If we look at the egg, this last huge is going to be the active huge in the egg, which means that the huge hunter game pass should only be helping your chances at getting this last huge and not this one for the event. So pretty much whether you're pay to win or free to play, you should have the same chance to get this huge evil imp as long as you have the most amount of egg openings possible. And I didn't really notice this, but you actually can't see how much points you've gotten for your team. So this is going to be very cool to see who can actually push these leaderboards as quickly as possible. And I did just notice we have 10 of these demon horns, so we can actually go ahead and craft one of these gift bags for ourselves and open it up really quickly. So 10 of these horns can be used for 10,000 diamonds to craft an evil gift. So let's open one of these bad boys up really fast. The evil gift. Let's open this up and see if we can get one of the new huges. Now that'd be absolutely insane, but seems like we didn't get it that time. But one thing to note is that these demon horns actually aren't tradable. So overall, this seems like it's going to be a very cool update. I think we pretty much covered everything that we need to talk about for this video. Now, let me know in the comment section down below what types of videos you want to see for this update. Now, obviously, I don't think there's like a perfect setup you can use for hatching this egg and getting as many points as possible. But as the update progresses, there might be some stuff you guys want to know about. So just let me know down in the comment section. I'll be checking for the next day or so looking for the ideas that you guys actually want. Choose your sides carefully because the evil team is winning and we are about to get our hourly three bags. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.